After a whirlwind romance in Monte Carlo with handsome widower Maxim de Winter, a newly married young woman arrives at Manderley, her new husband's imposing family estate on a windswept English coast. Naive and inexperienced, she begins to settle into the trappings of her new life, but finds herself battling the shadow of Maxim's first wife, the elegant and urbane Rebecca, whose haunting legacy is kept alive by Mendeley's sinister housekeeper, Mrs. Denfers. Rebecca has been adapted for film countless times, the most famous one of course being Alfred Hitchcock's 1940 version, starring Laurence Olivier as Maxim, John Fontaine as Mrs. De Winter, and Judith Henderson as Mrs. Denfers. But the new adaptation for Netflix directed by Ben Wheatley highlights the strengths of the 1940 version and underlines its own lack in terms of style, atmosphere, and general understanding of the story itself. Character-wise, Lily James has a difficult time convincing us in the first half that she is susceptible, cold in thrall. She is too self-assured, too forthright. Joan Fontaine somehow made it clear that this was the character's first experience with a man in every sense of the word. Army Hammer is on sure ground in the first half where he has to be charming, breezily rich, romantic, but then seems at sea in the second half where he has to face the horror of the real circumstances of Rebecca's death. Nobody has a firm grasp on what exactly they are supposed to be playing. There is not clear enough sense of collective suppression, desires unspoken, sexual or psychological torment so intense it leads to madness. Hammer and James make an eye candy couple, but they never generate any sweet heat. It's hard to understand why they fall in love, much less why they remain that way as the dramatic fight tightens in the movie's second half. The director seems a bit out of his league here. Something is missing, something that a more masterful director could have brought to a tale brimming with sexy subtext and wicked deep dish character nuance. Alfred Hitchcock, for example, knew how to orchestrate Rebecca's build-up of tension, dread and criminal collusion with consummate craftsmanship and finesse. How to navigate the tale simmering undercurrents of twisted psychosexual manipulation, and just how important it was to build upon its beguiling ambiguity about the shifting sense of good and evil. The direction is confused and unfocused. The filmmaker cannot seem to decide what kind of movie that he wants to make. It's kinda surprising how tame this movie is, especially when compared to the classic version. This version too often feels like a pleasant enough cross between a posh British period drama and a prime time network crime procedural. It's pretty, but it plays too polite to have very much punch.